family cream flower here and as you can see by the tub and the water I am about to give a little baby a bath I'm about to give a little baby a bath you guys so I have I got a special little bit this is just a little bit of palm olive dishwashing liquid because I needed just a little mild soap because the baby that I'm about to give a bath is a new baby to my collection but she's a very old baby a very old baby that was given to me by one of my dear aunties so let me bring my baby come here baby come here girl you're older than me yes you are so guys this is my baby look at her she's a vintage doll you guys and she needs to be cleaned up she's very dirty in the face but she's in pretty decent condition considering how old she is this is a little baby from like from like the 19 late 50s 60s that's the era that she's from and um she just has a little dirt on her head and i guess from being packed away and packed on so i'm trying to clean her up best i can guys so um this baby used to belong to my auntie sue and my auntie Sue did tell me a while back when she realized I was into collecting dolls and stuff and I was just like granny and she was like oh my goodness I have a doll from for you and this is actually her doll from when she was a little girl so I am very happy to have this little baby in my collection yes <laughs> so um this doll is is a doll that probably i don't know maybe one maybe eg was a doll company called eg and then the ideal doll company might have made this baby what i can what i can tell from my research is um i'm just using a piece of uh i'm just using a piece of mr clean scrub to try to get some of these dark spots off her face I'm trying to get some of these dark spots off her face. She has like a few little dark spots. So I'm just trying to gently clean her and get as many of these dark spots off her face as possible. Could be mold or just dirt. So, and also guys, I'm not worried if she doesn't like be perfect. Like I'm not really worried about that. As long as I get like the surface deep dirt off, I could get, I'll be happy. And whatever doesn't come off, it's okay because this doll is about 60 years old, you guys. This doll is about 60 years old. So, I am very grateful for whatever dirt comes over her. I'm using this stuff because I watched one of my, one of the doll people that I found. I think it's called, the, I think her channel is called The Broken Doll. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, her channel is called The Broken Doll. And that's where I found a lot of answers about who this doll is. And possibly where she could have came from. Because my auntie don't know. She just knows that this is a doll that was given to her when she was a child. But, you know, us doll collectors, like, we like to go a little deep. <laughs> like, okay, where did they come from? You know, so... um, When I got the baby, I realized one time that it was a vintage doll. I can clearly see that it's a vintage old doll. And... She has some mildew here. So I went tried to look the baby up. So I went just online to see who this baby could possibly be. She's a drinking wet doll. You know, they made them back then. So she's a drinking wet doll. And um, anyway, it was a doll that came out called, years ago, called um, Kathy. The Kathy doll by Madam Alexander. Madam Alexander, I believe, if I'm saying the name right. And... This look with these hands and this feet and this face came from that doll first. And then afterwards, in you know, later years, they did stuff like sell the mold and to other companies and everything like that. And, you know, other people would just make the doll in, very, in a cheaper form. Like the hair's more vinyl, but the body is plastic. Whereas the Madame Alexander doll, the whole body was made of vinyl. But this doll has a vinyl hair with the rest of the body being plastic. So I guess, you know, it was a... Very much a cheaper version, a knockoff version, whatever you want to call it. 
this baby right here is unmarked so this could be any you know i don't know it just has little numbers on the back that i could barely make out but with my glasses i can see that the number says 11 no the number says 15 dash 1 a that's what what the number here is in the neck it doesn't have the name of whatever company i know some of the doors have the name of the companies stamped on them but this one doesn't just got these numbers so yeah um these dolls came out like late 50s 60s and like what i can tell from the research they came out like in 56 57 58 those type of years and yeah so it was a mill that was done from the madame alexandra doll the kathy doll and then after that other doll companies have the mill and made the doll and you know so the doll that's how many dolls were back there so i'm very happy to have this baby in my collection and i'm so happy that my auntie you know daughter to give her to me because she knows how much i love dolls and i'm so happy to have this one in my collection definitely happy to have this one in my collection and i'm just giving her a bath you guys and as you can see in the beginning i wanted to put like as a vintage outfit on this doll so i found one that's in my you know in my stash the outfit that i with the little dress and bloomers it came with the dress and bloomers and little shoes i'll talk more about that when i'm dressing her but um yeah guys this is my baby and these dolls are not atomically correct but they do have a little hole in the little crotch area where if and a hole in the mouth so i guess you know if you when to give the baby some water with the little bottles that came with them um you can and they would pee so that was kind of cool right they were running fresh drink of that type babies and this baby is about 24 inches okay she's coming pretty clean look at the bubble look at the bubble you guys look at it just stand up <laughs> i love it she just blew up she just blew up bubble <laughs> Okay, so I need a little, um, this, the doll's actually coming pretty clean. I'm very grateful for that. I'm just going to get like a Q-tip or something to get into this ear right here. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get a Q-tip so I can get into this ear and try to get as much of this dirt out as I could. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. So I just wanted to get the dirt out of her ears because I see that she has some dirt in her ears. Just want to try to get as much out as I can. And like I said, guys... I'm not really too stressed about if it if, if, if she doesn't come perfect, you know, because like I said, she's a very old doll, and for her age, she's in really great condition for her age. She's in excellent condition for her age, you guys. You know, so I'm really, really grateful for her. And it's so cool because, like, you know, my family now knows that I'm pretty much back into my doll collecting, you know, for the last few years, and... Those are coming out of the work wax, guys. So this is another baby to add to my um, vintage collection. So I'm really, really excited about that. Goodness, I have like how many vintage dolls now? One, two, three, four, five, six. She makes vintage doll baby number six. So that's really, really cool. I'm very, very excited. At first, I was toying with the idea of making her a boy because she does. She can resemble a boy as well. But um, I decided to keep her a girl make her a girl and all the dolls when i looked online had this really rare mouth that's how they did it back then they just gave them these rare mouths i don't know what that was about but i guess that's what looked realistic to them or what looked good to them you know so yeah that's really interesting the rare mouth <laughs> but when i look online i see very, many of them with rare mouths and also when i was looking up this baby i didn't hardly see any black ones so i'm excited to have a black one because most of them are white most of the dolls that look like this are white so i'm really it's really cool that my auntie even way back then was able to get a black one and you know sometimes a lot of the knockoff companies or the companies that we did the sculpt um they would do them in different colors and stuff so that was re that's really cool you know that's really cool but my but my dolly friend that i follow i'm gonna leave her name in the description box or put it across the screen here somewhere leave her channel in the description box but she's very knowledgeable with like vintage dolls that's what she does she restores vintage dolls and everything so she's very knowledgeable with these kinds of dolls so i immediately once i got her knew where to look where to, who to go to to say like okay what baby is this 
you know, so she gotten the her information from her videos was very, very helpful. Oh, her eyes came back nice and clean today. Were very cloudy before, but that little soap and water worked. Works like a charm. Yes, it did. Okay, let me rinse her off. Try to get some of that soap off of her. And get some of that water out of her. I'm sure she's full of water at this point. See, she's peeing. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, guys, but she is totally peeing right now. <laughs> she is so pee peeing right now, guys. <laughs> Say, I'm peeing, mama. <laughs> I'm peeing, mama. I love her, you guys. She is so authentic. I love having this vintage baby. My goodness. So I got most of the um, surface dirt. I still see a few little spots, but like I said before, I'm not stressing about this. I still see a few little spots, but I'm not gonna stress about this at all, guys. So let me make sure I get all the water out of her. <laughs> Let me make sure she has one little dent in her heel outside of that. She's in pretty great condition. Say, Mama, make sure you got the water out of me because I'll pee on you and I'll pee on all the clothes. Hey, I heard all in her leg, guys. Make sure I get all that water out. Make sure I get all that water out of her. I gotta do the split. <laughs> make sure I get all that water out because I heard it. Get it out. <laughs> I wonder if I should take her on her limbs off. I don't want to do that then. I won't. What if I can't get it back? All right. Let me just keep shaking. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm just going to get all the water out of her. And then I am going to dress her, dry her off, and dress her. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So I am back with this little girl drying her off. I had to drain her, make sure all the water was out of her. So I'm sure when these like what you know, these kids were small, you know, the feast doors, they probably had a mini bath top of them. <laughs> so I'm just drying her off. She's really cute. She is so, so, so cute. And like I said, she's in pretty decent condition. All she has is this one dent here, and she had a little dirt on her face. I didn't get her face completely perfect, but it's good enough for me. It's definitely good enough for me. Any baby say yeah. So as you can see, this is her um sleeper baby. Her eyes are, it can open and close. She's in a, a sleep and awake baby, which is so cool, you know. So yeah. So yeah, back in the day, that's what they did, guys. Somebody would create a doll, and then sometimes they would sell the mill to other companies. That kind of thing happened. Sometimes the mill got stolen or just got used. It's just been, you know, this whole copying dolls has been going on forever. So yeah, this is my little girl. Let's get her eyes dry. I think she came back. Pretty good. Yes. Let me turn it over. Make sure she's dry. Make sure I get all these spots. She's going to be so nice in this collection, you guys. She's going to be so nice. I'm just making sure I get all in between her legs. Let's so see some soap. Trying to get all in between her legs dry. Little girl, hi, little girl. You still look so good for your age. Yes, you do. You still look fabulous for your age. Yes, you most certainly do. <laughs> I like her, you guys. She's really cool. She's really cool. You look so fabulous for your age. Yes. I'm gonna have to create a whole shelf just for my vintage dolls, you guys. They need a shelf to themselves. They need a shelf all to themselves just for my vintage dolls. Yes, so she she will be the oldest. She will be the oldest in the collection. She's definitely somewhere in the 60s. Definitely about 60 years old, this baby. 
something to that effect. I would age her at, let me see, hmm, like 1957 maybe, because I see a lot of these dolls were made at that time. So I would just age her there. So what I'm doing right now, guys, I have something called Shea Butter. This is actually what I use for my Indian skin. But I'm just running, across, running it across her vinyl because it's just going to give her a nice shine and a nice glue. It's not going to hurt her. It's just raw shea butter. And then me, I'm just running across her, her face so she can have a nice glue. Her face and she, oh, she looks beautiful already, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you're coming back to life, baby. Yes, you are. You look fantastic. Say, hey, mommy, can you put my clothes on? So I really wanted to, like I said, get her in something that was vintagey. So I pulled this lovely outfit out. Let me get her diaper on first. Let's put your diaper on, baby, because I'm just gonna go ahead and dress this baby all the way. This baby's gonna have a diaper. Let's move the red towel on the way first. Let's move the red towel. Make sure no more water's in. Make sure she's all. All the water's out, so let's move the wet towel. Let's put a blankie. And let's put a blankie down for her. There you go, baby. And let's get a pamper on her. So like I said, I'm going to just dress this baby all the way. She's going to have a pamper. Can we get this? Is this pamper the right size for you? Huh? Let's get this pamper on you, girl. Do you need a bigger one? Seems like you might need a bigger one. Let's see. <laughs> Let's get this pamper on. No, I think it should be okay. Let's get this pamper on you. I pulled out a pamper for her. She's on the beginning. I also have a onesie for her. I hope it fits you, baby. Let's see if I can get this onesie on you. A small onesie, but this is not a fat baby, she's not fat at all. So, I should be able to fit her. I think this onesie is either preemie or newborn. So, if you ever came across a door like this, it's gonna be okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Is on this is what she will fit in. And the outfit I have picked out for her is a newborn outfit. Door. Definitely going to be a showpiece in my collection. Definitely going to be a showpiece and one of those doors that I will probably change from time to time, every so many months or something, you know. Put a little different outfit on her. Yes. <laughs> Pretty baby girl. Right, so like I said, I really wanted to, being that she's a vintage baby doll, I really wanted to put something vintage on her. So I, my friend, one of my dolly friends sent me this beautiful outfit. It's just lovely. It's just this, whoops, let me show you. Um, it's this really pretty dress, you guys, right? Just a cream color with these little bloomers. And it's a layered dress that has a little white um, petticoat underneath it. And then it has these little um, off-white bloomers. And it also came with these really cute off-white, so it's like off-white cream color. Um, little little shoes so cute if little birds want to just absolutely adorable and I thought it would be perfect for her so I'm putting this on her and then I also I have this sweet little hat that I got from the Royals doll show very cute hat little lace hat very precious and then I have this sweater oh I have these socks that I also got from the Royals doll show really sweet socks with like little frills and things on it and um I have this little sweater that I had in my collection. Cute little off-white sweater. Really cute with the girl buttons. So it's just a simple little sweater with the girl buttons on it. And I also had this hairband because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the hairband or the hat. But I think I'm probably going to go with the hat. Who knows, I might do the hat and the hairband because this will be like just little flowers on the hat kind of vibe. So yeah, let's get a dress. I really wanted her to have that look, that vintage look, you guys. So... Let's get her dressed and ready. Let's get her dressed and ready for display. Yes. 
I think she cleaned up so well. I'm so happy to see how she cleaned up, guys. Oh my goodness. She is so adorable. So I'm going to put a little socks on her. I don't know if I want these socks to be up or down. I'm just going to pull them up for now. Let all the lace show. They look cute up. I might leave them up. They look super cute. Oh my goodness. And they fit on like a glove. It's perfect. Socks on her. I love these socks. I got these socks. I think it was this lady, if I remember correctly, it was a lady girl. She might have been from Germany or Sweden or somewhere like that. And she had these, she had just beautiful clothes and beautiful pieces and beautiful baby things. Just sweet baby looking stuff. These are the little shoes. Oh, hope they fit. Hope they fit. Oh my goodness, are they going to fit? Hope they fit. Yeah, they're going to fit. Yes, they fit. Oh, baby, you look so precious. Yes, you do. I want that boot to show you yeah, that one. I love that this little outfit came with shoes. I just, that is so fly, honestly. <laughs> that is so fly in this outfit. I love these kind of clothes for babies. They're so babyfied. I definitely like vintage looking baby clothes because. They're just frilly and baby-like, you know, not too grown up. I like that. I love that. I love that. And I think it's this is perfect for her. So let's get this on. Got the buttons in the back. Let me see. Okay. What size is it? Yeah, it's a newborn. Somebody's collection. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> I love it. She's going to look so precious. And it's really nice material. Feels very silky, the material. I just think this outfit is so ideal for this baby. Like, I feel like this outfit was waiting for a baby like this. I honestly feel that. This vintage looking outfit was waiting for this vintage looking baby. Yes. All right, little baby. <laughs> Let's button you up in the back. Let's button you up. All right, girlsy. I'm loving this on you already. It's so cute or whatever. Yes, it is. <laughs> she looks so cute already, guys. So her socks are up. I wonder if I could squint how they look scrunched on. Let me see. You know what? I like them either way, you guys. I like them up or down, but I think I like them down even more. So, let me think. Think on that a little bit more. But I'm liking both ways. Because I'm loving the frills that's on this sock. I just want more socks like this, honestly. I do. Okay, should I put her sweater on? Let me put her sweater on. Let's get your sweater on, baby. <laughs> Let's get your sweater on. Yes, keep you in that white and off white cream color outfit. Yes. <laughs> keep you in that white and off white cream color outfit. Yes, girl. She is so pretty. She is so adorable. What's her name? What is her name? Tuck the sweater a bit because it's kind of long on your arms. I see one little stain on the sweater, but I don't mind. It could be there. So guys, things are not going to be perfect, you know? So I've learned that about having my babies and doll collecting. Things are just not going to be perfect, but they're going to be what they need to be, if you understand what I'm saying. Let's get that hat on. Oh my goodness. Oh, MG, the hat sets it right off, you guys. I knew it. I knew that it would. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you are scrumptious. Yes, you are. You are so scrumptious. Oh, my goodness. I love her. When I tell you I love, <laughs> okay, so this is like the little flower hair band. Let me see how it will look by a touch of flower tea. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Who is the sweetest sweetie pie ever? What is happening? I need to find you more clothes like this. This is this is how you need to be dressing, girl. I can't even see you dressed no other type of way. This is how you need to be dressed, baby. Yes, you look so pretty. Yes, you do. You look so precious. You sure do. Okay, hold on. Let me let me bring the camera down so everybody can see you. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at my little vintage girl. Look at her. Isn't she so adorable? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with the way how she came out. She looks fantastic. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so these are her little shoesies and her socks. I'm so happy. Oh, she looks so adorable, you guys. Look at her. She is precious. Oh my goodness. You look so cute. Yes, she does. <laughs> she looks really cute you guys and she cleaned up very well considering she cleaned up very well in her little off-white outfit she looks so cute oh i'm so happy she's in my collection look at her <laughs> okay guys so please meet my lovely sue ella she is the latest addition to my family i named her sue ella because she's named after my auntie sue so I wanted to name her Sue Ella. Yeah, so this is Sue Ella. Say hello, Sue Ella. Say hi, Dolly family. Thank you for welcoming me to the nursery. <laughs> she is just adorbs. I am in love. I really am. Oh, I love to see a baby get all cleaned up and be brought back to Dolly life. She looks great. She looks great. And like I said, this doll is at least about 60 years old, guys. This doll is about 60 years old. Somewhere within that region, she is. So she looks wonderful, doesn't she? It just goes to show these dolls can really last a long time if you take care of them. And she's fantastic. I love her. <laughs> I'm so happy with how she came out, you guys. But yeah, guys, that's it for me today. I just wanted to bring my little suit Ella share her with you guys um i definitely will be looking for more vintagey looking clothes like this for her so when i when i change her again she can have something similar maybe in different colors but she's she she, she is she is sharp <laughs> she's sharp you guys i love her oh my gosh <laughs> all right dolly family thank you so much for watching i love you and remember is your does your way Bye-bye. Say bye, Savala. <laughs>